Hey, Mr. Warrior at your service, and oh my goodness, what happened to you, Miss Hippo? Oh, Mrs. Hippo, you look like, oh my goodness, what happened? Poor, poor Mrs. Hippo. Yes, you know what? You look like you had a battle there with, uh, with like a kindergartner. Am I right? <laughs> I kind of thought so. Oh my goodness, you poor fella. <laughs> what happened? The kindergartners got too close to the fence? Oh, I don't know. I should be laughing at you. I'm sorry. You can hardly see out of your eye. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, maybe I can fix you up here. Let's see here. Oh, there you go. Good as new, buddy. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, I know I'm trying not to laugh. It's okay. All right. Okay. Well, welcome, my friends, to yet another math video. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, we are doing review test chapter 10, the number, what? Num yes, right. The third video in this three video series. This is the last one. So let's go ahead and take a look at number 15. It says a large pot holds eight quarts of spaghetti sauce. Now Lisa has one pint containers of spaghetti sauce. Complete the table to help you find the number of one pint containers of spaghetti sauce Lisa will need to fill the pot. Okay, well, the nice chart. I like the chart. So if we had two quarts here, because there's two pints in one quart, therefore two, two quarts is equal to four pints. And you see a pattern? I can see a pattern, a pattern, yeah, developing really fast because now I'm going to have eight, another four is 12, and then 16. And that all makes sense because in eight quarts, you'd have two gallons, right? Eight quarts, yep, 16 pints, I'm liking that. So how many would you need? 16, my goodness, this one was an easy one. Okay, all right, what's that? Oh, you want me to bring you down? Okay, don't worry, Hippo, we'll bring you down. Don't worry. Yeah, I, I think the poor guy is still a little, uh, yeah, I still think he's a little dazed from all that coloring on him. Poor guy. Poor girl, I mean, anyways. Poor mom. <laughs> Emily bought 48 yards of fabric to make curtains. Cool. How many inches of fabric did Emily buy? We look at 48 yards and then we look at inches and immediately we need to determine which is the larger unit. Yards is the larger unit. But what's the conversion from yards to inches? Well, we just need to ask ourselves how many inches are there in one yard? And there are 36 inches in one yard. You can see here that we're going to be taking 48 then in order to get inches we're going to have to multiply because 48 yards is a really it's a lot of yards I mean you think about it uh, 50 yards is half of a football field so pretty long so we're going to actually take 48 then and we're going to multiply that by 36 and let's see what we get here 8 times 6 48 I have to carry my 4 up here now I have 6 times 4 24 plus 4 is 28 I need my placeholder. Yep. And then 8 times 3 is 24. I put my 4, carry my 2 over here. Now I have 12 plus 2 is 14. I'm writing right over my other problem, but that's okay. All right. 1,728 inches. That's one big number. Oh, that's a 7. Almost hit a 2 there. Ooh, you almost caught me. There, put my line there. Let me know that's a 7. All right. So... Excuse me, but you're in my way now, so let me do this. So I can keep my work there, group it together. Shrink! Ah! I'm shrinking! Okay, come on, Mr. Warren. All right, let's go next problem. Mrs. Kelly is having a party. She wants to make punch. The recipe for punch uses three pints of pineapple juice, five cups of orange juice, one quarter gallon of lemonade, and one quart of apricot nectar. <laughs> could they could they make any other different units? My goodness, I have pints, I have cups, I have a gallon, and I have a quart. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, since Kelly says her recipe will make 20 cups of punch, is Kelly correct? Explain your answer. Okay, I believe the best thing to do here 
is to go ahead and put our units in two cups. That way we can see because we have so many different units. Well, one thing that we do now, and this is a lot of converting. So maybe we'll start with maybe the largest. And this is just something we need to have. One gallon is equal to four quarts. So we'll write that down. All right. And then quarts is the next largest unit. One quart is going to be equal to two pints. We learn that. Next, one pint is equal to two cups. And this is important. So a cup is eight ounces. So if we double that, that's 16 ounces. And 16 ounces is equal to one pint because when you double two pints, I know 16 and 16 is 32 ounces. So two pints is equal to one quart and four quarts to one gallon. Well, now we just need to determine. Well, there's eight pints in a gallon. We determined that in an earlier video. And so two cups is double that. You need two cups for every pint. So that means your eight pints is going to double. Now we're going to have 16 cups then is equal to one gallon. Okay, we can only have 20 cups of punch. So let's do the first one here. Let's do three pints. Well, one pint is equal to two cups. So two times three, we'll do this work all over here, is equal to six. So, so far we have six cups. Usually they abbreviate, I think we just C. But here you go. Now we have five cups. That's easy. Five cups, we don't have to do any converting. Good to go. Next, we have a quarter gallon. Well, four quarts is equal to one gallon. So one quarter gallon then would be just one of those out of the four, which is one quart. And one quart is equal to two pints. And two pints, right? I'm sorry, two pints is equal to one quart. But one pint is equal to two cups. So we can double that and say that's four cups then. And does that make sense? Four cups is a quarter. It is of one gallon. Now we have 15. We're getting closer. Now we have one quart of apricot nectar and one quart is equal to two pints. And again, one pint is equal to two. So it's double again. So we're going to have four cups. So we have 11. There's 15. There's 19. It says her recipe will make 20 cups of punch. Is Kelly correct? And unfortunately, no, she is not correct. Okay. The recipe will only make 19, 19 cups of punch. You know, after I converted all those measurements to cups, remember the three pints of pineapple juice was equal to six cups. We had the quarter gallon of lemonade, which was equal to four cups. We had the one quart of ap apricot nectar. That was four cups. So when I added these all together, I got 19 cups. So let me go ahead and put those notes down. Okay, let's go, go, go. Part B, it says that Kelly decides to pour her punch into one quart containers to fit into her refrigerator until the party starts. She has four one quart containers. Will all of her punch fit into the containers? Explain. Hmm, okay. Well, if she has one quart containers and we have 19 cups from the previous uh, problem there. So will it all fit? Well, we need to convert that 19 cups into quarts. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Well, first thing that we need to do, we have 19 cups and she has four one quart containers. Will all of her punch fit into those containers? Well, each quart, as we learned up above, was actually going to equal two pints, which in that case is going to equal four cups. We learned this. So one quart is equal to four cups. So if we took our 19 cups and we divided that because we need to put four cups in each quart, we could divide that by four. Now, four will go into 19 four times. That's great. That's 16. We subtract, we get three. So our four cups, four times one gallon, but will be four quarts. So let me rephrase this. So our four cups, okay, we'll go in each quart, but we have four one quart containers we've used, and we're going to end up with three left over, three cups. That's a problem. No, they will not fit. Okay, into these containers. They'll be full with three cups left over. So since 19 is larger than 16 in this case, all the punch isn't going to fit in those four one quart containers. I'm going to go ahead and explain down below. So there you go. As I just described, next problem. Yeah. Moving on. It says that Sam is practicing long track speed skating at an ice skating rink. We're just around the rink. 
The distance around the rink is 250 yards. He has skated around the rink six times so far. How many more yards does he need to skate around the rink to complete three miles? So we're dealing with two units, units of measure here. We're dealing with the yards. The 250 yards is the distance around the rink. He's done that six times. Nice. It says here, though, we would need to find out how many more yards would he have to skate to make the three mile mark. So I see this as a multi-step problem. First, we would need to know how much he's skated around the ring so far. So we'll go ahead and take our 250 and multiply it by six to get our total yards. Okay, and that's 1,500. And I'm gonna write that right over here. Now 1,500, now how many yards were in one mile? You may recall last time, it was 1,760 yards is equal to one mile. And I have three miles. We can see this is just shy of actually even one mile. So now I'm going to have to go ahead and get my 1,760 7, 1, multiply it by three to figure out how many total yards that is. 21 looks like two, carry the two, three, four, five, which is 5,280 yards. Now I'm going to take my 5,000. 280 yards, which is the total yards of the three miles. I'm going to subtract the 1,500 that Sam has already done. Now I get to subtract. I need to regroup. And now I'm coming up with 3,780 yards. Does that seem reasonable? It's a really large number, but that makes sense. Sounds like he's got quite a ways to go. One third of the way, one mile would have been 1,760. He was close to that, so he did about a third of the way. All right, number 19. We're cruising. We're cruising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maria spent 15 days traveling in South America. How many hours did she spend traveling in South America? We want hours. Well, we're doing all kinds of conversions. Well, here, you know, our wonderful thing, wonderful thing of 24 7, we always say, right? 24 hours in one day all right so we have 15 days are we just taking 15 times 24 that would seem that's pretty much the ticket there 24 that looks like six please holder okay and then we have 10 carry the one two looks three so it's like 360 hours yeah i like that 360 hours it says a concrete truck loaded with concrete weighs 30 tons about how many pounds does the loaded truck weigh? It says about. That's this little estimate here. If it has about 30 tons, and because there's 2,000 pounds in one ton, we're just doubling the numbers here. Three times two is six. We've got a lot of zeros to deal with, right? You have to be careful here because we have one zero from our 30, and then we have our 2,000. So we have three. So there should be a total of four zeros. And I see four. So I got my one from here and my three from there. 60,000 pounds. Cool. We're going to fly through this one. A plumber has a piece of pipe that is two meter long. He needs to cut it into sections that are 10 centimeters long. How many sections will he be able to cut? Show your work. Explain how you found your answer. Fair enough. I can do that. Well, how should we do this? We need 10 meters long. I think that the biggest thing we need to understand here is that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Okay, fair enough. So if that one meter equals 100 centimeters and they're getting cut into 10 centimeter long sections, that means that we could have 10 of those in every meter, one meter, all right? Because 10, 10, 10, 10, you get to 100, you get one meter. We have two of them. So it seems like we're just gonna double that. So our 10 now is gonna turn into 20 because 10, times two meters if each one is going to give us 20 and it's going to be 20 sections is the unit of measure and I kind of like that so let me go ahead and just write 20 sections uh, I, I you, you think of total centimeters for the two meters is 200 I did a lot of that in my head but 200 we're, we're dividing them into 10 centimeters long and that's how we're getting our 20 I kind of went the reverse way when I first doing it. So if we had an equation, two meters, of course, is equal to two 
times 100 from there, which is also equal to 20, I'm sorry, not 20, try 200 centimeters. Okay, for numbers 22A through 22D, select true or false for each statement. Oh, just conversions. 2,000 pounds is greater than one ton. <laughs> nice try, we just did that one. Falso. That's right, that's not true, false. That's not true, it's false, so that's what I meant to say. Here we have 56 ounces equals to 4 pounds. Each pound is equal to 16 ounces. And 16 times 4 is larger than that. Yes, that one is true. You can do the math, but 16 times 4, 4, 2, 4, 5, 6, 64. All right, so that is definitely true. 48 ounces is equal to 3 pounds. Oh, here we have another one like that. Well, 16 pounds times 3, 18, yes, 48. That's true. And 40 ounces is equal to 2 pounds, 4 ounces. Okay, trying to trick us here. Well, let's put everything in ounces. We have 2 pounds and double 16 is going to be 32. And then 32 plus 4 is going to be 36. Is 36 greater than 40 ounces? No. 36 is not greater than 40. Okay, my friends. I kind of flew through the last part of the video. Looked pretty simple. Just got right down to business. Have to say goodbye to our hippo friend. I'm glad that uh, she's okay. Uh, kind of sad. Yeah, well, you know the story. Anyway, my friends, it is now time to close.